Well, good day to you. This is Donna Reiners, and I just have a short message to encourage you. I noticed something today. Today? Or yesterday? No, it was today. Actually, I noticed it yesterday, but today I talked about it. I noticed yesterday a theme of sabotage in my life. Now, I've noticed this before, right? But just because you notice it, do you always address it? Do you always actually follow up with it inside your own heart, on your calendar? Do you make room for you to break up with sabotage? That's my question. So um, over the last few months, I've had a few things happen to me. Um, I've been addressing some additional things in my health journey. And it's been exciting, <clears throat> at times a little uh, confrontational for me because it's included things like skin. I mean, who wants their skin to have an issue, right? And so, as I've resolved um, some of it and then figured out the other components that need to be addressed and actually identified someone who can actually help me over the next year, which is super exciting, right? When you can figure out what's happening with you from in a long-term um, situation and have an actual plan, that's amazing, right? Well, I've, I've got the plan and I had the different components I need and uh, the different things I need to start my journey with. And you know, I don't know about you, some people really um, are looking after their health, right? Some people look after it. Some people have been on this journey for a long time. And so, like me, you might have different types of supplements or different kinds, types of companies that you use that, that uh, feed you nutrients and things of that nature. Well, I'm adding something to that. But when I went to my counter after I opened up this product that I'm gonna begin, I, I looked at my counter and went, oh my, how overwhelming. I think I'll put it in the pantry and start it next week. I took, I took them all out of the boxes and I put them up on the top shelf in my pantry with the thought, I'll just start those like next week. I'll look at it Sunday and I think I'll probably start it on Monday. What, what was that? That's in response to me being overwhelmed. But in my mind, I'm thinking, why am I overwhelmed? Of all these things that are on my counter, that's what the overwhelm was. But in my mind, I'm thinking, whoa, it's overwhelming to start this new thing. It's overwhelming to begin this new product that's going to actually help me in a way I have not ever been helped. But instead, all my thought was, oh, this is overwhelming. And so in my mind, that overwhelming had to do with what I was about to start. And I realized this morning, as I was talking to Craig, I said, you know, I realized I placed those items up in the top of the pantry with the idea that that's overwhelming, so I can't start today. I got to start next week. What does that mean when you put something off? That's called sabotage. Oh, we call it, well, you know, let me just do it a different day. Let me organize it. You know, let, let, let me get my calendar straight so I know what I'm doing. We, we come up with all these reasons to delay something we need to address. And we do that delay over and over and over and over and over and over and over again until... Your mind is a mess, your house is a mess, your yard is a mess, your back porch is a, yet, is a mess, maybe even your calendar is a mess, I don't know. And I thought, wow, Donna, you're attempting to sabotage. So I said, nope, we're not doing that. So I took a deep breath and said, no, actually, I'm not overwhelmed by starting that. What I'm overwhelmed with is I've got all these things on my counter that I'm accustomed to using on a regular basis. What was overwhelming was adding one more thing onto this counter. And so, this is the plan. 
uh, I think it's tomorrow. I can't, I'm not doing it tonight, but tomorrow I'm going to remove everything from my counter that I will not be using for the next 30 days, right? And basically that means it's going to be clean. And then I'm only going to add the items that I will be using for the next 30 days and nothing more. So I have a little turnstile there that goes around and around. It's real pretty, but it's full with junk. So it's not so pretty because it's full of junk, right? So I'm going to find another home, not somebody else's home. I'm going to find another home in my home to place the roundy round. And I'm going to put that somewhere else. And I'm only going to put on the counter the very few things I'm doing for the next 30 days to address the terrain in my body. What's terrain, you might ask? Terrain is your cellular health. Terrain is what your, your blood flows and all that stuff. It's what's inside your blood. That's your terrain. And so I'm addressing my terrain right now so that I can change the way my body responds when I get around uh, things that cause me uh, to not feel good. So I address the sabotage. So I just want to encourage you, maybe you have an area you continue to excuse because, well, this happened and now this happened and now I got to do this and now I got to do that. And I can't not do this. So everything is in turmoil and, excuse me, I'll drink of water. Things are in turmoil because maybe you've made excuses for years. Listen, I want to share you a little, a little short little story. Excuse me. You know what's interesting about this sabotage thing with me with this particular thing? I was thinking about the last 25 years and what this doctor found and how I'm, go I'm going to start these, this area of health for my brain and my gut. I thought, wow, some of those things that he's looking at, they were recommended 25 years ago with a doctor in Colorado, another doctor in Houston, another doctor in another city. And, but none of them, none of those doctors said what they saw, they just made those recommendations. So it wasn't something that impacted me for me to go, oh, I should get on this and I should use this for a long time. I didn't think that was those things. So maybe I stayed on it for a year or so, maybe two years. Listen, that's not a long time when you think about it. If you really want change in your life, you have to say some, something long enough to really help your body repair and help the tissue change and, and help resolve long-term problems because of inflammation and all that jazz. Well, I short-circuited myself every time after a year or two and stopped using them. But guess what? Now, 25 years later, it's like I'm starting over again. Like, oh my goodness, what would have happened had I had the discipline to stay on those very things and stay with, would I even have the issues I have today? I don't know. I don't have regret because the journey is a journey. And we can't give in and we can't give up and we can't turn back. And we can't allow thoughts of regret and things like that to sabotage us even more. I thought, no, this time around, I'm moving forward. So I will be making that change over the next couple of days. I'll be making room on my counter for what I really, really, really want there and what I need there just for the next 30 days. And then I'm going to move forward from there so that I don't sabotage my health for another week, another two weeks, another three weeks. You put something up in your pantry, up in your closet, when are you going to get to it? Seriously, when will you get to it? You probably won't, or maybe a month later, or something happens and all of a sudden you're busy again and you totally forget that you have a program you're supposed to follow. Hello? So, if you have something you're attempting to, to not sabotage, maybe something's coming to your mind and you're like, you know, I sabotage this area and this area. It may not be your health. It could be a, a work-related issue. It could be a social uh, issue. Could be order in your home. Could be a family issue. You could be sabbing, sabotaging something relationally. I don't know. But, you know, write it down and ask yourself, what do I need to do to stop the sabotage? 
So I told myself yesterday and today, I'm breaking up with sabotage regarding my health. And let me tell you, that's not easy to do when you have other people you're cooking for and other people you're doing things for. It's not like, well, you know. So you have to figure out where you are while you're on the way you're going regarding the responsibilities and the different things you have in your life. I mean, I travel quite a bit. I have people I work with on a regular basis. So I have to show up, right? So I can't sabotage. Um, I have to make room for this, these steps I need to take so that I can continue to show up. I can continue to be responsible. I continue, can continue to earn an income. I can continue to live and move and breathe and have my being, you know? So anyway, I bless you today. I pray you break up with your own sabotage. If this resonates with you, feel free to comment below. Yeah, that makes sense or something. Or direct message me. I don't care. Love to know if uh, you see something about a theme in your own life that you want to address. It's always smart for you to address them. I'm going to address mine. Maybe we can do it together. Anyway, blessing. This is Donna Reiner. Till soon. Bye.